Ground ball. Pete Alonzo will throw it home. We do prevent the run from scoring. He's coming home again. Do we have a triple play? What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel in another debut video. Today, we are debuting 92 overall tops now Paul DeYoung. He is a righty killer. 105 and 115 contact and power versus righties. 81 and 71 power versus lefties, 83 vision. Feeling's pretty good. I've played one ranked seasons game with him just to try him out. I think he went two for four, maybe? One for three. One for three. He went one for three. I think he hit a double. So, uh, he's a good card. I enjoy him. The arm shrink's a little low. We're gonna play him at short today. I didn't really have an issue with it last game, but bear in mind his arm isn't the best. Also, doesn't get his own video because I don't think he's that good, but Oscar Mercado will uh, be playing center field for us. That's the lineup. I guess we'll bat Paul DeYoung higher than 8th, but uh, let's let's get into it. We're playing the Los Angeles Outlaws. He's got Gwen, Trout, Bellinger, Brooks Robinson, Michael Brantley, Buster Posey, Daniel Murphy, Cal Ripken, and he has Matt Harvey on the mound. We're pitching with Max Scherzer. Should be a good one. He's already paused and there hasn't been a pitch thrown. Ground ball, Paul DeYoung throws it. It's not in time because the arm strength is bad, but he almost got him. I don't think I've faced Matt Harvey yet. So I'm interested to see how it goes. Tony Gwynn bloops it. It's going to be caught, but it brings up Paul DeYoung, the right-handed killer. And hopefully he does some killing here, as he is the right-handed killer. That would have been an amazing pitch to swing at, but I had predetermined that I was taking all the way. So uh, now we're in a hole, 0-2, because I'm bad. Uh, late, because I was sitting off speed. Not a great first at bat, that's on me. And, uh, yeah, let's go get more outs. Get there, Mercado! Okay. This is, this is why. This is the reason why you play in Cleveland. Couldn't be in a nice city like Miami. I don't feel like that would be too much for Mercado to, like, catch a ball, hit semi right at him. Maybe it is. I don't know. Perhaps it's just too much to ask. All right, Mercado, can you catch this one, please? Please catch it. He caught it. It's a miracle. Pete Alonzo gets a base hit. Pulls it in the left field just over the third baseman's head. Not great contact, but we will take the base runner, and it brings up Edgar. Edgar slices it in a right field. Hopefully Pete Alonso gets to second. He does. And it's first and second now. Fox hits it in the center. That is going to be caught. And it'll bring up Oscar Mercado. Who hits it in the right center? It drops. We're not going to be able to send him home because Tony Gwynn has an actual Gatling gun attached to the side of his body. But it brings up Max Scherzer, who uh, is not ideal here. But it's too early for me to pinch hit because it's only the second. Uh, he does not get a hit. So we leave him loaded, which is not great. But just, yeah, it's not great. Matt Harvey is going to get a hit. Wow. Okay. Six speed makes him a stealing threat. So we're going to have to utilize the slide step here because of the blazing speed and athleticism that Harvey possesses on this card. That's going to drop. Gallo does get him at second, though. Again, Matt Harvey's blazing speed there. With six speed, just not enough, but we essentially we just trade base runners. Ground ball, Edgar makes the play. His arm strength is just barely enough. 
This is like the noodle arm squad now that I'm looking at who we're using. Alomar hits it hard to center field again, but it's caught again. Ground ball. Daniel Murphy somehow makes a defensive play. Brings up Paul DeYoung. He popped out in the first on a fastball up and in. Not my best swing. We're going to try to drive something this time. Show what this card can do. High curveball. Was not expecting that. Really? And I popped up again because I am a god. Best pop-upper on YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more pop-ups. And also, more innings where we get three hits and are unable to score a run. Because those are fun. That's ripped at DeYoung. He makes the play. He throws it to first and gets Brooks Robinson by a step. I will say, Paul DeYoung is a pretty strange card. Because he's got good fielding. Really good hitting. He's, uh... He just doesn't have arm. So he's almost a second baseman to me. I don't know. I don't think he's going to be useful at third because the arm is so bad. As that's a base hit up the middle. Ground ball could be two, and it is two. Paul DeYoung to Alomar to Big Meat Pete at first. Gallo hits one about a million miles an hour in the center. It's just going to be a single. I guess it's in the right center through the shift. Regardless, it is a base hit. Y'all know when you just have a gallon full of just like motor oil in your throat and you can't really talk? That's me right now. I just have so much crap in my throat. It's rough. So if I sound like I have smoked 10 million cigarettes, that's my bad. Edgar Martinez hits one into right center. Yeah, we're going to send him because why not? We need a run. This is our opportunity. He doesn't throw it home. We get an RBI double with Edgar Martinez. Jimmy Fox hits it through the hole. Edgar will get to third. We are clicking here. Finally, offense is being had. And it brings up Oscar Mercado, who did have a hit earlier. He walks Mercado because Mercado is just the face of intimidation at the plate. And uh, Max Scherzer now will hit. Max Scherzer in the right. It's foul. Oh, that was so close to being a disaster for him. And we strike out. Not shocking. It does bring up Alomar, who's hit the ball hard twice, but right at people. If we leave the bases loaded again, I am going to be very upset in the upset kind of way. Alomar grounds out to Daniel Murphy again. That's super disappointing. Perhaps even more disappointing than my third grade science project, where I had to figure out how batteries work and then didn't because I'm in third grade well I'm not I'm not in third grade now but I was at one point because of how school works so yeah it's that disappointing suddenly here we're in trouble we've allowed two hits pretty quickly in this inning Jimmy Fox can't catch a fastball, which is a great quality to have as a catcher. Just an amazing quality to have. That is hit at Pete Alonzo, who drops it. And we're not going to get the out on this. Because, oh my god. Sick. Well, this has gone to crap here very quickly. I, I don't know what to tell you guys. Ground ball. Pete Alonzo will throw it home. We do prevent the run from scoring. He's coming home again. Do we have a triple play? We got a triple play. Let's go. Let's go. Are you kidding me? I don't even know what happened, but it was cool as crap.
a triple play has happened on video. Please don't quit. No, I'm not accepting a friendly quit. I just, I really want to play. I got a triple play. It's pretty epic, to be honest. Tony Gwynn gets a base hit to start the inning. It brings up Paul DeYoung. Hopefully we get one more at bat before this guy quits, maybe. Paul DeYoung in a right center gets a base hit. Not the most spectacular thing, but, uh, you know, it's it works. A hit is a hit, and it's his debut, so we will take it. Uh, Gallo into the would-be shift had no one been on, but people were on, so there was not a shift, hence the term would-be shift. Jimmy Fox pops up, so in the last two half innings, each of us have had the bases loaded with no outs and not scored a run. Pretty epic. However, we got a triple play out of it, so that's cool. That's hit well. Hopefully Mercado will make the play, unlike he did earlier. I guess he's 3 for 4 in the field now, which is pretty good. Would like to have that be 4 for 4. But, uh, yeah. That ball is rocketed in the left center. It will one-hop the wall. Mercado will pick it up. He's been pretty busy out there today. Popped up. Can Pete catch this ball? He does. It's a miracle. He did it. Yay. 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 Alomar hits it hard again, but it's uh, fielded by Bellinger, I think, is playing first. Oh, we just miss. Not a great start here to the inning, Max. That's popped up in a right. It sure does drop. Tony Gwynn's throw is into second, but we're in trouble. Ken Griffey will come on. Uh, we're gonna sub in, we're gonna sub in Lee Smith. We strike him out, I guess swinging, it was a check swing, but it was also in the zone. So that'll bring up Tony Gwynn. We need to get out of this inning with the lead intact. Ground ball up the middle, that's through. They're going to wave home the runner, I guess. I don't know. Mercado just can't field. It's rough. It's been a rough day out there for him, I guess. But the bases are loaded now. Ground ball. Is it two? It sure is. We get out of another jam thanks to a double play or triple play. We do have one. Again, if you're if you made it to this point in the video, I assume you've seen the triple play, but it was pretty epic. Uh, Tony Gwynn hits one high and deep in a right field. It is back. It is gone. A home run. Tony Gwynn sneaks it out to right center field. A home run. And now Paul DeYoung hits it into right. It's not well hit. And it will be caught. Uh, it's down deep in the hole. That was very deep in the hole there, Matt. Gallo hits it into right center. And just like in the All-Star game, Gallo takes Will Smith deep. It is three to nothing now. Uh, us. I guess we're Dingo ate my baby still. And it's three to nothing, Dingo ate my baby. That ball is chopped. Can Pete Alonzo field it? He does field it without having a stroke. A minor miracle to say the least. And there's one out. Uh, we're going to pinch hit Freddie Freeman. He's playing up today versus righties. Uh, as you can see by that swing there, playing way up versus righties. So far up that... He's going to destroy any pitch that comes to him. Now, 
first pitch is taken for a cold Probably strike. Probably shouldn't throw change-ups right down the middle here, Billy. Alright, we need one more out here, Billy. Yes, he meant to swing. Okay. Struck him out swinging to end the game. Joey Gallo wins player of the game. I guess he did have two hits, including a home run. Joey Gallo really have two hits? Three hits? Joey Gallo had three hits. Paul DeYoung had one hit. We still can't see Max Scherzer's shoulders for some reason. I'm not sure what's happening outside my window, if you guys can hear that. But, uh, yeah. That's going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button for more. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.